Okay, so let's do another video. Today we have sodium, sodium metal. And uh, I, this is a Jekyll and Hyde uh, type of presentation because on the one hand you have this very beautiful metal that looks like somebody melted chrome and put it inside a bottle. And it's just absolutely flawless, uh, absolutely beautiful. And that's sodium metal as it looks when it's not paired up with anything. Elemental sodium is a very light metal, very soft, and very reactive. It'll combine with almost anything. Uh, table salt, of course, everybody knows, is sodium chloride. You mix a little of this with a little chlorine gas, and you have table salt. And getting those two apart from each other is like on sticking very powerful magnets at an atomic level. On the other hand, here you have also sodium, which is an oil. And uh, I'm looking at this and it looks like, I don't know, like a Mexican marinade or something. I'm told that this orangey looking oil is a special version that is uh, low permeability for oxygen, but between you and me, I think they, they scammed me and upcharged me for what looks like engine oil. But anyway, I'm getting off track. Here is sodium that is not under argon, and you can see that the surface doesn't look anything at all like a metal. It looks uh, like, like something not nice. Um, but that is actual sodium metal, what it will look like as shipped in oil. And it barely weighs anything right here in this whole thing that's half the size of my hand. You're only looking at like five grams. Uh, so uh, sodium from this to this happens almost immediately. I want to show you how it's not only very soft, but it's also very reactive. I'm going to take a piece of this and I'm going to cut it. Here we have this. and Actually, I can do this with my hands. It's so soft that I can probably do it with my hands. But I want to see the fresh look of it. So I'm just going to open it up. And you can see it looks nice and silvery. But give it just a few more seconds. And you can already see that it's tarnishing. What happened to the shine? Well oxygen got to it and even though it has a little bit of oil film on it it's going to look like that and I don't know a minute or two uh, believe me but uh, there's no way of keeping sodium away from uh, oxygen in normal conditions but look it's almost like it feels in my hand like, I want to say, old chewing gum. <laughs> it's very soft. And if I were to toss this in water, it, it would spit and catch on fire and maybe even give me a good pop just for a little tiny piece of sodium. A big piece would give me a big pop. And a lot of people do buy that with that intention of just putting and in water and watching the fireworks but whatever your use is we have sodium for you uh, either you can get it in the nice type for a lot of money or very cheaply and quote unquote low permeability ox low oxygen permeability oil which is really just engine oil as far as i can tell so anyway this is Raciel for lusteria thank you for watching